And that is... Oh my god, this one. Oh my god, they're everywhere! <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hao, and today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. I just thought it would be fun to sit down and share all the things that I've been loving lately. Hopefully you find some cool stuff throughout the video. I picked two things that I liked from each of these categories here. I will leave everything in the description box below if you're interested in trying out any of these. So let's just get started. I have really been loving the Dior Addict Lip Glow Balms. I have quite a few of them now. I swatched them all on my TikTok and I just literally learned how to use TikTok. So if you are interested in seeing all of the Dior lip balms that I own, I will leave my TikTok in the description box below. This is in the shade 13 Beige. It is the one that I am wearing right now. It gives a very slight natural beigey pink tint just the perfect everyday lip color for me usually these types of color changing balms turn very bright magenta but this one is very nice i got this at the beginning of october and i am using it up so fast i will definitely be repurchasing it second thing in the beauty category is kerastase I don't know how to pronounce this. It is the Botifying shampoo. It has hyaluronic and glucopeptides in it. I discovered this because my friend had it in her bathroom and I used it and it was really awesome. It adds so much volume to my hair after I use it. My hair is naturally thin. It's pretty flat. I've been washing my hair every other day for a couple of years now because it'll just get oily. I can really only go one day without washing it. I have found that I don't have to wash my hair for two days after washing with this and it smells really good. Mm. I did get the conditioner as well, but it didn't condition at all really and I felt like it was too expensive. So I'm sticking to my old conditioner, which is just the Dove Intensive Repair one. But I really do like this new shampoo in my routine. I'd give it a go if you have very thin, flat hair like mine. It does make my hair frizz up a little bit. Just want to be mindful of that. A company called Redui reached out to me and they sent me this little device and I've been testing it out for a couple months now. You put your skincare on top of it and then you massage it into your face. It has different vibration modes depending on the color that it's on. It is such a luxurious experience. So cool to the touch. It's also rechargeable. I think it lasts about a month before I had to recharge it. There's like an app that you use with it. I don't use the app too much, but I do really like the experience of putting my creams and sunscreen on with this. I found that after trying this out for a while, I actually use way less product than if I were to just put it directly onto my palm and put it on my face because my skin is not absorbing it into my hands. My favorite way to use it is just if I hop out the shower, throw some sunscreen on, I will turn it onto a setting and then massage it into my face. Once the timer goes off, I can just wipe it off, set it down, and move on to my makeup. Really glad that they reached out to me and sent this my way. Uh, if you're interested in it, I do have a discount code and a link for you down below. This has definitely been one of my favorites. I also got the Biosense Omega Repair Cream, and this was another product that I found in my friend's bathroom. I can't say that I love the smell too much. I definitely love the smell of the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich way more because it's lavender. But I really like how my skin feels after I put this on. It just makes my face feel really, really supple afterwards. I haven't decided if I like this over the Priming Moisturizer Rich yet, but I do really like it right now. I'm about done with this jar. Just wanted to get something new and something not Glossier. I love Biosense. If you have been following me, you know that the Biosense sunscreen is my holy grail sunscreen. And when I tried this, I was like, oh, this is actually really amazing. So I have been using this over this one. We'll see. I have been loving the Bagu Medium Crescent bag in the color black. I know that I'm very late to this trend because I think Bagu blew up maybe a year ago and 
a lot of people have this bag now, but I just discovered it. I have been wearing it everywhere. I love this thing. I love the size, how thick the straps are. I hate carrying things on my shoulder, which is why I don't wear a lot of totes because I feel like they're really heavy for how thin the straps are. But this strap makes carrying stuff super bearable. It makes a very good crossbody as well. I love the material. I love how much room there is in here. I keep a water bottle in here. I keep my glasses in here. This is not a what's in my bag. I just feel like I'm never without something that I need. It goes well with a lot of different outfits. And I've definitely been abandoning my Fjall Raven bags as of lately because of this one. So I think that says a lot because I do love my Fjall Raven bags. The next thing are these earrings right here. I typically wear this gold pair of hoops that Mason got for me and I kind of wear those religiously. I wear them all the time. They're like my go-to, but sometimes I will switch it up. And recently I got these cicada wing earrings from Etsy. They are seriously so freaking darling. I love them so much. They're really high quality. The whole entire thing is made of sterling silver from the actual hook itself to the earring and it has a nice weight to it too. Definitely a favorite of mine lately. I've been wearing them a lot. I have been loving mud water. I feel like Everybody has gotten an advertisement for mud water. I finally tried it because a new coffee shop opened up down the street and they were selling mud water lattes. I had no idea what it really was, but I found out that it is just basically like a hot chocolate and a chai mixed together. It has masala chai, which is a mixture of black tea, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, black pepper. I love masala chai. It also has cacao, which is where the hot chocolatey taste comes from. It has lion's mane, cordyceps, chaga, reishi, cinnamon, turmeric, and Himalayan salt. It has just a bunch of stuff that's supposed to be healthy for you. It is supposed to be a coffee replacement, so you would get energy without a crash. I have a little bit of a caffeine sensitivity, so I can't drink too much coffee without like completely tweaking out, but I do have a decaf coffee in the mornings, and I've been replacing it with this lately, and I really, really like the taste. I use this milk frother machine, put a little bit of oat milk, a little bit of this creamer that I love. It says to use one tablespoon for a 12 ounce cup, but I usually just use half a tablespoon. I think I make about eight ounces. It's very flavorful and dense. I would definitely give this a try if you were hesitant because I think it's super yummy. This is the Philips One rechargeable toothbrush by Sonicare. It has a little port right here, rechargeable by USB-C, and a little waterproof cap. It has interchangeable heads, so when this is all used up, you can just pop a new one in. It vibrates in 30 seconds, pauses a little bit, and then vibrates again for 30 seconds, and it keeps doing that until it hits two minutes. And it comes with this cute little compact case. You just stick your toothbrush in, and that is it. I've used the Colgate Hum toothbrush for a year. It is also a electric toothbrush, but the handle is as thick as the carrying case for this Philips Sonicare one. This one is just way more comfortable to hold. I don't love the heads on it. I don't like plastic bristles. I feel like they don't get a good clean. Those were the downsides I had with this. Plus the travel case is very big. I cannot find it anywhere, but it is the size of a sunglasses case. I do travel quite often. I bought this guy so I can easily just throw it into my bag, but I do like how this one recharges because you don't actually plug anything in. It kind of wirelessly charges onto its little dock, whereas this one I haven't actually charged yet. So hopefully it doesn't get ruined or water damage. I don't know about the longevity of this. I just have been really loving this lately for all the reasons that I mentioned. If you were in the market for a new toothbrush, I think this one is a very promising one, at least for traveling. Last section is tech. I love tech. I do work in tech. I've been loving the new AirPods Pro second generation. I briefly talked about these in my last video, which is my iPhone unboxing and burger case review. I do have the burger case on it right now. I just love these AirPods so much. I am so impressed by the noise cancellation of these guys. Literally behind you is a window and 
a mini farm that my neighbors have with chickens, goats, and other animals that like to make loud noises and I love hearing them but sometimes I just don't want to hear them so I pop these in go about my morning routine make some coffee I get ready put my makeup on and the noise cancellation is so nice sometimes I won't even be listening to music sometimes I would just have them in to use the noise cancellation feature I also really love that these have the extra small size for the little piece that goes inside your ear because I remember trying out the first generations they always hurt the inside of my ears I have very small ears the extra small size fits perfectly in my ears and they don't fall out no matter what I'm doing so if you are like me and you didn't get the first AirPod Pros because you have tiny ears, these solve that problem. My last item that I have been loving is this portable charger. This is the Anchor 633 MagSafe charger and it is so freaking cool. It has a flip stand on the back. I did briefly mention this again in my last video, but I'll go into a little bit more detail here. It's MagSafe compatible, so it'll charge any phone that has MagSafe. Not only that, it will also wirelessly charge if you just throw something on there. That ding means that my AirPods are now charging. So if you have wireless charging, it'll work. It can charge your phone fully up to two times depending on the size of your phone. Obviously the 14 Pro Max, it has a bigger battery so it'll charge it maybe like one and a half times, but you could still get more than one charge. It has a light indicator on the side to let you know how much battery it has in it. It also has two outputs. One is a USB-C output and one is a USB-A. It is the IQ fast charging. So even if you don't want to use MagSafe, because MagSafe can sometimes take a long time, you can totally just charge your device normally with a cable and it'll charge it faster. I've been really digging this portable charger. I think it is just perfect for my needs. It's not super heavy as well. I mean, it's not light. <laughs> it does weigh about the size of a phone, maybe a little lighter, but for festivals, hikes, and camping, anywhere you would need an extra battery, this has been amazing. I've already used it a couple times. Not because my battery has crapped out yet. I know it will because it's Apple, but because I have forgotten to plug it in overnight, just brought this along with me and it saved the day. And the kickstand is a total plus. All right, everyone, that was the end of my video for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like these types of videos, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment down below. I will try my best to answer your questions. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so because I would love to have you here. With that said, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.